Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I am bringing you this go-to pageant makeup. This is my stage pageant makeup. Um, this is not like interview or anything like that. This is definitely for stage um, under lots of lights. So it is kind of a big layer of products, but I'm telling you the outcome is amazing. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so before this video, I already moisturized, but I'm just going in with my primer, my Benefit Professional Primer, one of my favorites. And then I'm just setting that primer with Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Deep. This is going to help keep your makeup on all day and also help having a flawless matte application. Now I'm filling in with my eyebrows with one of my go-tos. I haven't used anything else for my brows in a long time. Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number five. And we're going in with full, thick, dark, sharp eyebrows today. Since we're going to be on stage and we're going to be in front of all those harsh lights, we want to make sure our brows are not fading away through all the lights. So we want to make sure they're nice and bold. some good good great concealer that I love right now it's a NYX can't stop won't stop concealer in the color golden honey I really like using this concealer um, for my eyeshadow base and to carve out my brows because as you can see it's very full coverage and it's a matte concealer so I don't have to go in with as much powder to set it and you'll see later what I mean by that so I'm just carving out my brows I'm blending that all over my lid in the middle of recording and it was a very important call and I didn't want to stop doing my makeup but I was on FaceTime before this and I'm on FaceTime throughout this whole entire video but I just had to make sure I was hearing her clearly I didn't want to just leave it on speakerphone so now I'm just blending out that concealer with a fluffy dome brush and then I'm setting that concealer with black radiance loose powder and banana and as you can see i'm just using a real big fluffy brush the same brush that i use to set my entire face because not much powder is needed and now i'm going in with maybelline soda pop palette in the shade cola flow i said maybelline maybelline <laughs> and i'm focusing this color in my crease and then blending it upwards um this is going to be my main transition shade um, when you're doing stage eyeshadow, it's really important to use warm tones because the lights are usually blue and purple, so you want to make sure you're highlighting that warm tone and bringing some warmth to your face so you can be nice and pretty and enhanced. And I'm just going in with the same palette in the shade Crushing to blend it out. Now I'm going in with the James Charles palette and I have the mini palette because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the full one, but now I really do. But it's lasting me a long time and I'm just going in with the shade No Beans just to deepen up my crease even more. And then I'm going back in with that brush that I use with the shade Cola Flow in the Soda Pop palette just to blend that out even more. And then you see I'm just tapping back into that Cola Flow shade because we really want to keep that as our main transition shade. Now I'm going into my Busted Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Chip. Um, this is to deepen my outer V. And yeah, and just give me the, kind of that cut eye effect. You just really want to take your time to blend obviously this video is fast forward but as you can see I go in with different brushes to blend it out and then just to open up my eyes even more I'm going in with the same palette with the shade silk cream 
and I usually use a matte um, eyeshadow for this part but you can also use a shimmer but I just prefer matte um, it just opens my eyes up even more and I really love it and it's still warm then I'm going in with Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 365 Nutmeg with the e.l.f. foundation brush. I don't use any other, um, not concealer, foundation and I don't know why, I just haven't found another foundation that just gives me that full coverage that I love and this is like the perfect shade for me. It's super warm tone and it just blends so well with everything else and now I'm just going in with a Real Techniques sponge and I'm just blending that out even more. And then I'm going back in with that NYX concealer in the shade Golden Honey and I'm just highlighting under my eyes and I'll be doing down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and my forehead. And as you guys can see, I'm using a good amount of concealer and then I'm also going in with the same concealer in the shade Deep Espresso to Cream Contour. And this is a really, really rich color and this is definitely going to help you get that snatch look on stage so your jawline is looking nice and sharp and your cheeks are just all snatched and you're just looking all evened out highlighted and contoured and flawless look i love using this concealer combo it just gives me some even more coverage and it's just so easy to blend out especially i like to let my under eye concealer sit while I'm contouring because it just gives me more color well, I can't talk today it just gives me more coverage and it makes it so much easier to blend but we don't want too 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 much coverage with that contour it's already giving enough so <laughs> as you can see it's blending out so flawlessly and so easy after letting it sit and my sponge is damp with lukewarm water so I'm just going back and forth with that beauty blender and the brush that I use to blend out my contour so it can just be all blended seamlessly and after um, I blended all of this out I did not get to film this because my camera did shut off and I didn't notice but I pressed in the black radiance loose setting powder in the shade banana to set my under eye and all those places I put that concealer and to set my whole entire face I used the Fenty Beauty loose setting powder in the shade nutmeg and I do not bake I like to press in the powder and yeah now I'm going in with black radiance pressed powder and rich mahogany just to set that contour and just bronze up a little bit more and I'm also pinching my brush and going down the bridge of my nose just to give me that contoured nose because I'm not the greatest at contouring. And now I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Roxanne and Buns for blush. For all of my people that are already subscribed, um, you guys know I love using eyeshadow for blush. It's like my favorite thing to do and this is my one of my favorite combos. It looks great every time and never fails and I do go heavy with blush for stage just so I'm not looking washed out and then I'm going in with that same palette with the shade ship in a pencil brush and I'm just smoking that under my eye and then blending out even more with Maybelline soda pop in the shade cola float And if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you don't forget to subscribe. And now I'm setting all of that in with NYX Matte Setting Spray. And then I'm just taking my sponge and I'm just pressing all of that setting spray in. And now I'm going into the Ellen Tracy Get Ready to Glow Highlighter Kit and I'm taking that top left corner shade and I'm just highlighting just a little bit. I don't like a highlight too too much um, for my stage makeup because then it kind of makes me look sweaty and then I'm going into my inner corner and then in that shade same shade and then blending it out just a bit and then I'm going into my brow bone 
and now I'm just going to be doing a quick little liner with Maybelline liquid liner and I like to line my eyelids for when I'm doing my lashes and it just makes my eyes pop even more so that's the number one thing I love and doing your eyeshadow is all about blending and taking your time and definitely highlighting um, the high points of your face so that way when you're on stage you're looking nice and refreshed and enhanced and super glam and you're just popping okay you just want to pop on stage with them judges to love you now i'm going in with one of my favorites mary Kay ultimate mascara and i actually recently just became a mary Kay independent beauty consultant i'll be doing a video on that later so if you want to purchase this mascara make sure you message me and i'll hook you up girl Now I'm just going in back into that Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Abyss just to darken up my waterline. It's almost like a matte black shade with a really small thin liner brush to line my waterline. And then I'm going in with Revlon Lip Gloss and Cocoa Crush. I swear I've been saying this name wrong in my past couple of videos. It's called Cocoa Crush, not Cocoa Rush. <laughs> and then I'm going in with Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick and Bow and Arrow watch my previous videos you know this is one of my favorite lip combos i'm just going back and forth and i'm going into the jacqueline hill palette again and i'm taking central park on another pencil brush just to deepen my liner even more i also love using eyeshadow for liner now i'm going in with venti glow venti beauty lip gloss you already know y'all should know this by now oh my gosh i go in with the same lip color every single time and now I'm just going back into Roxanne and Buns from the Jaclyn Hill palette to go in with some blush even more. So this is it for the face. I did put on some lashes off camera. So I just like to use Ardell Wispy Lashes. The lashes that I have on, I have no idea what they're called. But you can definitely use Ardell Wispy Lashes and stack them up. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. I got some pageant hair going on right now. This is probably how I would style my hair if I was not natural and competing natural at the moment, but this is how it came out. Um, like I was saying in the video, you really wanna keep the warm tones on your face when you're doing your pageant makeup because of all the lighting and everything like that. So guys, over time, I have learned to perfect this and I love it. This is my new go-to pageant stage makeup routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something and I hope I helped you guys out with your pageant makeup. I know I get so many questions about how I do my pageant makeup so here it is you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm so 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 excited to be sharing this video with you guys because it took me a long, long, long time to perfect my pageant makeup and I finally feel like I got it down pat where I feel confident enough to do it by myself if I didn't have a makeup artist so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you guys in my next video Bye.